Hi, I'm naturalist Heidi here at Tamarack Nature Center, and this week we're talking about snakes. Do you know what makes a snake a snake? They have no fur or feathers. Instead, they have scales. As you can see here, they don't have legs either. They do have a backbone though, and I'm tracing it with my finger right now. She might flick her tongue out. Oh, there it goes. It's a forked tongue. And what she does with that tongue is she flicks it out and she brings it back into an organ called a Jacobson's organ. And that helps her to taste the air or smell it. She doesn't use her nostrils for smelling. She uses that tongue and that Jacobson's organ to do that. And then the other cool thing about snakes is most of them lay eggs. But the garter snake is one of those snakes that doesn't lay eggs. They actually give birth live. This is a garter snake. She's two years old. Can you tell that she has some light green or yellow stripes with black stripes? That's one of the characteristics that I know that this is a garter snake. Some people call garter snakes, grass snakes, garden snakes, gardener snakes, because that's where we find them. They're one of the most common snakes here in Minnesota. But when we find them, they're slithering away from us. Snakes are more afraid of us than we are of them. Do you know why people might be afraid of snakes? Maybe because they're fast moving and they startle us. Or maybe because people think that all snakes are venomous. We only have two snakes here in Minnesota that are mildly venomous. The Masasaga, which is a endangered snake, and the timber rattler, rattler snake that is threatened. Both of them are mainly found in southeast Minnesota. And because they're threatened or endangered, you probably will never see them. Do you think that snakes benefit our environment? Actually, they do. They help to control the mice and other rodent populations, along with some other big insects. They also are a food source for mammals like raccoons or skunks and owls and hawks. So they help to complete the food web. Stay tuned for later in this week when we explore other adaptations of snakes. See you later.